high level videos, welcome to High School Speaks. I'm your host, Rich Manafwak. In 2008, during Anna Kufado's campaign, he promised free SHS to the Ghanaian students. In October 2016, during his campaign at Ashaman constituency, he reiterated his commitment to free SHS. In, in February 2017, His Excellency Nana Dodankwe Kufado stated that free SHS would take off in September 2017. On, on High School Speaks, we take a look at the impact on, it, on us as high school students. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back. To discuss this topic, I have with me Gillette NG, Opong Franco, and Aisha Bouti. How are you guys doing? Um, to start with, I would like to know what you guys have heard and know about free SHS. Opong Franco. Okay, to me, I think free SHS is when um, education is being made free for people to um, enroll them, themselves to acquire knowledge because education is the key to success. Great. I think it's about when the areas of senior high school is being taken upon by the government. So. Aisha. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know much about free SHS. But free education is when burden is taken off parents who aren't able to cater for the educational needs of their work. So I know you guys. I know you guys are informed to you. Okay. Um, now let's be in the shoes of the Form One students. How will free SHS benefit you as a student, Aisha? Well, as a student, now that let's take for me, I'm a needy student. So any time that is, um, my teachers come around and start for fees, I'm start. With this free year suggestion, it's going to help me a lot. I'll be able to concentrate on my books as I know that there's no one going to sack me from class. Because when I'm being sacked, it's great tension on me. I won't be able to study. I'll, I'll have lots of stress. You worried? On yeah, I'll get worried. I'll be disturbed by my parents. But this free year suggestion is going to help me a lot. Is fee payment so much of a challenge that we need free year suggestion? Juliet? Of course, yes. Why? Is it because let's say needy parents have three or four children in SHS and have to be able to pay all your fees. But when free SHS is being introduced, I think it will be able to release the burden of them so I can be able to cater for other things like books, provisions and stuff. So I think it's going to release the burden of their heads. So let's talk about those who can afford free SHS. Those who can afford afford it. Do they need free SHS? Yes, I think they need free SHS because the money they'll use to pay for the fees and the uh, areas in the school, it can be saved towards the, the person's uh, university education. Yeah, I think they need um, Do you think it will be sustainable considering how government keeps changing education policy? Mm -hmm. Juliet? I don't think it will be sustainable. Because in Ghana, governments come and go. Frequent change of government. And any government which comes into power does not continue the project which was left by the other government. But I think when this government who wants to initiate that policy needs, the other government that will come into power will not be able to continue the project. So I don't think it will be sustainable. Yeah, I don't think it will be sustainable. I think it won't be sustainable because um, government changes, you know, and then our sustainable government in Ghana is very low as compared to the other countries. And then it's like when I begin a project and I'm not, I'm not able to complete it, the new government that comes into power will want to formulate their own project and complete it in their name so that they can use it for maybe something, let's say a campaign or something that they did this, they did that. So I think that one won't make that FSHS sustain. Let me come to you, Aisha. According to what Juliet and Frank have said, what if a law is made to back that policy? A law? 
I'm not a president. I can also make law to change that policy. I also want to make my name. I don't want the government that just went to to continue his project. So maybe it's to be shield, to be found. It's not going to sustain. So if there is free SHS, how would it impact the academic work of students? students? Mm, free SHS is going to impact on the academic work of students positively because students who are needy are not going to be sucked out of the classroom because of non-payment of school fees. So they'll be able to get a sound mind to study and to learn very much. So, so you, you, um, will it affect the quality delivery of teachers since there will be a lot of students in class? Thank you. Yeah, it will affect the quality of delivery of teachers because Marking exercises is not an easy way, you know, when then um, talking to, let's say, 50 students in a class. And then when there are more than 18, 90 students in the class, you can even guess how the quality of work will be done in the class. I mean, for me, I think it will really affect the work of teachers. Yes. How does it help a mother who can't afford exercises? Or say parents with three children in SHS. Aisha. As a mother with three kids in the SHS, it's going to help me a lot. Because I now know that the pain of school is taken off. It's like a burden taken off. So I'll just start thinking of paying my what uh buying provisions and giving them upkeeping money. So it's going to help me a lot. As a mother with three kids in yesterday. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. We are still talking about free SHS and its impact on us as high school students. Um, earlier on, um, Aisha was talking about free SHS reducing the burden on period. Um, as in they provide, they've been able to provide for their awards in terms of provisions and other stuff. So is it likely for it to reduce theft among students, Juliet? Of course, yes. I think it will be able to reduce theft among students because they will be having enough provisions and upkeeping. So I don't, I don't see any reason why me going to take anything from another person because already I have enough for myself. So I don't see any reason that. To increase the, it's rather increase the. Yeah, I think she's right. Because everyone, everybody will have enough. You know, so we'll just decrease the total. Talking of Franco saying it's going to ab abolish a theft total, I don't buy that. Mm. Because you don't know, I I know a friend of mine who who is rich, but she still feels or have this sickness that she so steals people's things. Though she has everything, she has everything that she wants, but she still feels like stealing things. That's her own problem. Yeah, she needs to Because it's not normal. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, how is the feeling when you are being locked out of the examination for non-payment of school? Aisha. <laughs> Writing a, a paper. Then all of a sudden I'm being sad. I feel bad. I feel stressed. I don't. I'll. I'll feel. I feel. I feel everything in the world. That's negative. I, I won't feel good. Personally, I've not had that experience before, but I think that will be an awkward situation because me being sat down of the class during an examination that will be a burden on me. I can't be able to concentrate and be able to produce what I'm supposed to. I think it will be an audio for me. If a lot of people get the chance to go to secondary school, um, how would that impact um, the literacy rates in Ghana? Who get to go to SHS? Um, it increases their level of thinking, you know, um, their level of reasoning. Because when you talk to someone who is educated, you can judge from the speech he or she passes, and then you can see how best the person thinks or reasons and then it can lead to tolerance how you tolerate the views of each other yeah okay. 
So what, what do we foresee as challenges with this system, as a free SHS? Aisha? When the um, free SHS has been implemented in SHS, it's going to create pressure in teaching. Hassan, I'm a teacher. I have over, let's say, 100 students. I can't give assignments because I can't mark. I'll become lazy. It's also going to create lots of pressures on our facilities. We need more, we need more um, instruments in the laboratories, more books, because if there are only five books and we are over 2,000 or, or billions, we can't use only five books. It's going to create lots of pressure. And um, the talking of the economy of the country is going to decrease because all our income, we are going to uh, impact lots into the free SHS. So much won't be sent into other um, projects, has in building of infrastructures and all this. So this one is going to have a lot of implications. There will be easy break of epidemics because the number will become high in the SHS. The, when there is an epidemic, it will be easy spreading throughout the students. And also, with our water system, people will also be queuing for water in the school. If we stop paying school fees, it means government will have to bring money for food. In this case, what if the money delays? How would it impact our feeding and academic works? Okay. Um, talking about the feeding aspect, the, the output will be zero. You know, because we depend on the government to bring us the money to buy the inputs to feed the students. And then it has been delayed for, let's say, two, three months. We will have um, some amount of food there for that short period of time. But after that, what will happen? You know, after that, what will happen? Total of food will be When we have good suppliers, they are going to supply us with food, whether the government believes or not. No, I, you know, it's like we are working together hand in hand. Yes. And you don't provide the money. How would you expect the person to Okay. I'm your customer. I always give you money for goods. And this time I delayed. That was why I said customer. we will have it for a short period of time. But after that, and it's still delaying. After that, yes. Me, as for me being a supplier, I'll, I'll continue supplying to you. No, be, be, with, with some be, people. Being in the shoes of the supplier, I'm government. It has been delayed for three months. You've been providing me free food for three months. After the three months, it's still delaying. So you, what, what do you think okay. will happen? And how, how do you even... Expect what do you yeah. expect the, well, the supply to feel? Yeah, I'll get this oh, okay. Yeah, you know, so total output will be zero. Yeah, total zero. Okay, I um, is the provision of facilities uh, more important than make, being, uh, making it free, according to what you said? Okay, it's balanced here. Provisions, uh, provision of facilities. Okay, what if we have all uh, everything? We have our library, we have science lab, we have everything that is school needs. And the there aren't the adequate or the right amount of students to use those facilities because of um, less poverty, uh, poverty. It's not going to help. What if we have this free education and the facilities too are not there? So it's balanced here. We need both. Uh, are, are we hoping to get our bread back if the SHS is introduced? Falco? Yeah, okay. Um, I think we'll get it. But I won't last for long. Why? Why won't it last for long? You know, as I said before, funds, mobilization of the funds, where we get the money for? That's it. Where will we get the money for? That's the problem. That's the main source. That's the problem. We'll get the funds for to run. You know, in Ghana, it's not. We don't have only one institution. There are thousands of them. You know. So where will we get the funds from to mobilize that policy is the problem. 
lovely viewers, you've heard the views of our guests. Let's go out to hear the views of other students. Okay, free SHS is a good plan that I think the government is bringing on board and it will help children and also parents who do not have enough money take their work to school to further their education. Okay, in my opinion, free SHS is a policy brought up by the new elected government to help the form ones who are now coming into the secondary school not to pay fees to get free ed um, education in the secondary school. I think free SHS is for students who have qualified to the second cycle and and for parents who don't have money to enroll their awards into school. Free SHS in my opinion is, is, a, is a policy that has been passed by the government for students to be able to access secondary school education by not paying um, money, like much money, in, to be able to gain admission into the secondary school. I don't have any problem, uh, problem with that, but I think every government and its program and policy, so if this government is in power and they decide to implement free education, it's a good idea. For that, I'm not bothered at all because in life there's a beginning in everything in life and there is an end to. So I didn't benefit. A relative or someone would benefit you. I'm okay with that. I think that's not good because I would like to enjoy the free education too. Because sometimes there are challenges in life and like our parents aren't able to pay our fees on time and I think the government should include the form to the form to the Well, I don't really like that idea because not four months are not the only people who are going into secondary school, who are the only people in secondary school. People have been to secondary school and they are suffering with the fees and the money that they are paying. So if it was to be done for everyone, it would have been better. But since they are the ones, since they are the ones coming in, it will help because the other people who follow the other form ones who follow will also benefit from it. For my opinion, I think uh, in Ghana, most uh, children, brilliant children, are in the house because of poverty. And if free SHS is being implemented and they come to SHS, they will focus on what they are the reason why they are in school and achieve their aims in life. Since they wouldn't be paying school fees, when they are in class, they wouldn't have divided attention, thinking a teacher would come and sack them for fees or anything. So they would try to learn hard. And for those who are not all that rich, they would take advantage of that and learn hard to bring out good grades. To make a great difference, because sometimes Parents are not able to pay the awards fees on time and this affects the students a lot because whilst they are in the class learning, they might be sacked from their class to go for school fees and stuff and the rest. Um, free SHS will not make much difference in the lives of students because some, most um, students will take advantage of that and then because they are not paying school fees, they end up doing stupid things. Because they realize that even if they are not paying school fees, yeah, they are not paying school fees, so whatever they do, uh, they, they are still in school. They won't pay anything for what they are doing. They would fool around and then at the last minute they would try to sit up. But if they were wasting money on it, their parents, parents were paying school fees, they would know that, look, my parents are suffering, he's doing something. So they would learn harder. It depends because every government and its uh, programs and policies. Because if this government in four years uh, later will still in, in power, I think it will last. That, for that, I don't really know because it depends on the government. It depends on the 
government will be coming after this one? Oh no, I don't believe. Because by all means, this, this government will leave, and there is another government coming on, and that that government will try to do something new. The old government did, so I don't think it lasts. No, I don't believe so. Governments do change. Governments change. Maybe this government that has implemented this policy, the next government that will come would think that it's bogus, so they want to change it and then bring in something else. So I don't think it is going to last. I would prefer FSHS because my parents are suffering from poverty and if uh, the government in, implement the FSHS, I will get access to school so that uh, when there is no facilities, the authorities will request and when it is granted, I will also benefit from the facilities. Mm, I would prefer free SHS because free SHS it will help all students in Ghana, yeah. Because most students that are brilliant are in the house, to be honest. And when we are in school, and we can, react for, uh, we can request for the better facilities, and I think the government will provide because they give us free education. Well, I would have preferred free SHS to better facilities because um, we are not paying much. When, when you are coming into secondary school, all this money that you'll be spending, you're not paying much. It would come in. The money would just come from the government. And if the school needs something, they just go to the government and tell them that these are the students that you brought. So just, we need money for this and this. So the government will just give them to them. Welcome back. So you hear the views of other students and their views on free SHS. We thank our guests. Gillet NG, Frank Franco Fopon, and Aisha Bochi for sharing their views with us. Welcome. Thank you guys. Welcome. To all Ghanaians, even though the policy of free SHS hasn't started, we should as Ghanaians look at how it will change literacy in our country and its impact of changing lives of several families. It is okay to scrutinize the policy, but let's do that constructively. This is High School Speaks, and I still remain your host, Richman Afuakwa. Bye for now.